Hey, thanks for joining us. Had some extra equipment around today. And I, in the past, had done some uh, Bitcoin mining on the Raspberry Pi. And of course, since Bitcoin is going crazy right now, decided to do some Bitcoin mining again. So thank you for joining me. Wanted to say right off the beginning, this is not going to make you any money. So if you're here hoping to make money, sorry, it's not going to work. This is completely for educational and demonstration purposes to get you a little bit more knowledge on how Bitcoin mining works, how to do it, how to hook things up with the Raspberry Pi, and apologize, you're not going to be made a millionaire with this. So if you're still with me, let's, let's, let's move on. I have a Raspberry Pi up and running and we are using a VNC viewer that way it's a bit easier to look at. Uh, I am currently running Debian version 9.3 and this is running on a Raspberry Pi 3. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is this command which is a pretty long command to install some of the uh, packages that are requirements for BFG Miner, which is the software we will be using to mine bitcoins. Uh, I will add this command because it's very uh, kind of long, cumbersome, and complicated looking. I'll add it to the show notes in the bottom. And so let's go ahead and run this command. Okay, and it looks like we're done. Let's move on to the next command. The next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be cloning from Git the BFG Miner uh, program. Let's go ahead and do that next. Okay, we have the command up, git clone, and an email address for the BFG miner. Again, this will be in the show notes below. There's another command we're going to run as well that is needed. And again, this will all be in the show notes. Going to configure. We're going to run make next. And that looks like it's done. Okay, once that's done, we're going to run uh, BFG Miner, and that'll get things started. To begin with, you need to specify at least one pool for Bitcoin mining, which I'm going to go ahead and do off screen. It's going to ask for the URL of the pool as well as the username and password. Okay, we do have the program up and running. So you can see that we still need to add as no devices found. And now I wanted to talk a little bit about our devices. Okay, so what I have here is a powered uh, D-Link unit. This is model number DUB-H7. That is model DUB-H7. Uh, it is a uh, seven port USB hub that is powered. It does require uh, extra power to run 
Uh, it is going to be running these uh, Ant Miner by Bitman, and as well as some older uh, of these Bitcoin miners. Uh, I believe these are called Eruptors. Okay, so you can see that we do have the um, Bitcoin miners, the Eruptors going at about 3.3, a little bit under mega, uh, mega hashes. You also see the Ant-Man uh, at 1.5 to 2.15. And also see there we're having some uh, of my work accepted. And we're Bitcoin mining. If you log into your Bitcoin uh, service of your pool, you should see that you're doing some work as well. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this was uh, interesting to you as well as Hopefully you learned something. There is the setup. And every time one of those lights flashes, an angel gets his wings. Or we're processing a Bitcoin transaction, one or the other. Again, this is not going to make you money, I'm sorry. Uh, I had this device running for maybe about 2-3 years. And before Bitcoin really jumped in price, it made me maybe about $300 uh, in Bitcoin. None of it was profit. All of it was eaten up by electricity and hardware costs. So again, this is all being done for fun and entertainment purposes if, if you want to learn how to mine. Thank you for watching. If you found this interesting, uh, please like and subscribe. If you know someone who would find this interesting, please share it with them. Thank you again for watching. Have a good day.